What's up guys, I'm Puneet from Programmers and welcome back to this series on programming with JavaScript. In this video, we will learn JavaScript operators and how to use them with various data types such as strings and numbers. We will specially look at arithmetic operators. In JavaScript, an operator is a symbol that is used to perform operations on values and variables. And we have already used one operator many times in our program without even realizing it. It's the assignment operator equal to. It is used to assign the value in the right to the variable in the left. Here, the Puneet string is assigned to the variable name. There are also many other assignment operators, but before we take a look at them, let's talk about arithmetic operators first. Arithmetic operators are basic operators such as addition and subtraction that allow us to perform arithmetic operations. Here are the basic arithmetic operators that we use in JavaScript programming. Let me copy all the arithmetic operators in the code editor. I'll remove this old code and paste these. Now I'll create a series of examples where I'll use these arithmetic operators one by one. Let's start with the addition operator that is represented by the plus symbol. On my code editor, I'll write const x equals 8. Similarly, const y equals 4. And now I can say const result equals x plus y. Let me print the result variable. I'll say const, oops, console.log result. Here, the x variable contains the value 8. The y variable contains the value 4. We then use the plus operator to perform the addition operation and the result is stored in the result variable by the assignment operator equals. Let me run this code and you can see that I got 12 which is the sum of 8 and 4 as a result. Instead of storing the result in a variable, we can simply print the value directly. For example, from the previous code, I'll simply remove this line And on line 13, I can just say x plus y directly. When I press run, I get the same output as before. We can also add values without using any variables. We can do something like this. So I'll remove these two lines. And instead of console log x plus y, I can just say 8 plus 4 inside. And when I press run, I get the same output as before. Let's now get back to our original code. So let me undo some of the things I've done. All right, here we're adding two integer values. We can also add integers and floating point values. So I'll change this value from 8 to 8.5. And when I press run, I get 12.5. That means I can combine integers and floating point values while adding. So far, we've been using the plus operator with numeric data where it simply adds two numbers. However, the plus operator can also be used with strings. When used with strings, the plus operator concatenates or joins two or more strings together. Let's see an example. I'll first create two string variables. So let me remove this old code. I can say const text1 equals JavaScript. Similarly, const text2 equals programming. Now let's use the plus operator with these two strings. So I'll say console.log text1 plus text2. And now when I press run, as you can see, I get the output as JavaScript and programming joined together. Now I want to include a space between the two strings. For this, I can simply add a space after the first string. And now when I press run, there is space between JavaScript and programming. We can also join multiple strings using the plus operator. Let me show you. So I'll remove this old code and I'll just say console.log JavaScript, oops, then plus, then is, then I can say fun. Here I'm joining three strings together. Let's run this code. And as you can see, the final output contains the three strings joined together. You must have noticed that all strings are separated by space. This is because I have added a space before is and a space before fun. 
Similar to the plus operator, we use the minus operator to perform the subtraction operation. Let's see an example of subtraction. I'll use the same program and simply replace plus with minus. I have my old code from before. Now instead of plus, I'll replace this with minus. And now when I press run, you can see that I get 4 as the output, which is 8 minus 4. Now to perform multiplication, we use the asterisk symbol. It is used as a multiplication operator. Let's see an example. From the previous program, I'll simply replace the minus symbol with an asterisk. So instead of x minus 1, I'll say x asterisk y. I'll run this code. You must have guessed the output by now, but it's 8 times 4, which is 32. Similarly, we can also perform division using the division operator. The forward slash is used as a division operator. Now in the code, I'll change the asterisk to forward slash. You must have guessed the output again. I press run and 8 divided by 4 is 2. In JavaScript, we can also get the remainder after a division. For this, we use the modulus operator. The modulus operator simply performs division and returns the remainder after the division. Let's see an example. Here, I'll change the division operator with the modulus operator and run the code. So I can say x modulus y and when I press run, I get 0 because when 8 is divided by 4, the remainder is 0. Let me modify the program. I'll replace value 8 with value 11 and when I press run, I get the remainder 3 because 11 when divided by 4 has a remainder of 3. If you're enjoying this video, please also check out Program is Pro where we provide tutorials along with quizzes and challenges which will help you practice and test your learning in real time. Also the course includes projects to give you an awesome experience of how programming works in the real world. And for our YouTube subscribers, we are giving 50% off on the yearly plan. Sign up by scanning this QR code or use the link in the video description to claim your discount. Now let's learn about the increment operator. The increment operator is used to increase a value by 1. We use two plus signs as the increment operator. Let's see an example. Here I'll create a variable with value 8. So let me remove this old code. I can say let x equals 8. And in the next line, I'll say console.log plus plus x. You can see that I have printed the variable with increment operator in front of it. Let's run this code. As expected, the plus plus sign increases the value by 1 and we get 9 as the output. In this case, we have used the increment operator before the variable x. However, you can also use it after the variable. Let me show you. So I'll remove this and I'll add the plus plus after x. You must be thinking what the output must be. Most of you must have guessed 9. Let's see if you're right or not. When I press run, I get 8 instead of 9. What's happening here? Well, the increment operator when used after a variable will first return its current value and then increase the value by 1. So here, the value of x is printed first, which is 8, and then it is increased to 9. We can verify this by printing the variable for the second time. So after this, I'll say console.log x and when I press run, you can see first the value is 8 and then it is increased to 9. Similarly, we can also decrease the value by 1 using the decrement operator. And we use two minus signs as the decrement operator. Let's see an example. Similar to the earlier examples, I'll create a variable and print it using the decrement operator. So let me remove this old code and I can say console.log minus minus x. When I press run, as you must have expected, I get 7 as output. Here the value is decreased by 1. We can also use the decrement operator after the variable and same as the increment operator, it returns the value and then increases the value by 1. When I run this code, I get 8 just like before. Now to check if the value has been decreased or not, we simply print the variable for the second time. So I can say console.log x and when I press run, I get 8 and then 7. 
That means the decrement operator did decrease the value by 1. Similar to two plus operators, we can also use two asterisks together. The two asterisks operator together is known as the exponential operator. It is used to compute the power of a number. Let's see it with an example. So I'll remove this old code and I'll say const result equals x asterisk asterisk 2. And let me console log the result. In this program, the left side of double asterisk is the variable x, which has the value 8. The right side represents the power to the value. So this line can be read as 8 to the power of 2 or x to the power of 2. Let's run this code. As expected, I get 64, which is 8 squared as the result. So far, we have been using a single operator in an expression. However, there might be a condition where we might have to use multiple operators in a single statement. Let's see this with an example. So I'll remove this old code and I'll say const result equals 4 by 2 plus 3 times 5 minus 1. Now I'll console log the result. Here I have used the division operator, addition operator, multiplication operator and subtraction operator together. Now the output of the program depends on the operator that will be executed first. Let's see the output first. You can see that I get 16 as the output. This is because the division operator is executed first, then the multiplication is executed, then the plus operator is executed and finally the minus operation is executed. That means 4 by 2 is 2, 3 times 5 is 15, so 2 plus 15 is 17, 17 minus 1 is 16. You might be wondering why division is executed first. Well, this is due to the concept called precedence and associativity. Operators with higher precedence are executed first and operators with lower precedence are executed last. We will learn about all this in the later videos. But before we move ahead, one quick tip for you. If we have multiple operators in a single line, you should build a habit of using parentheses to make it easier to understand the code. For example, I'll change the above code and I'll add some parentheses to make it clearer. I can add a parenthesis here, similarly here. And now you can see that the code looks much cleaner. Okay guys, we need your support to keep these types of content free for all users. YouTube really likes engagement on the video, so leave a comment below, press that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get the engagement score high up so that more people can discover and enjoy our courses. Now let's use the operators that we learned in this video to create some interesting programs. Suppose you're a university student and you need to pay $4,535 as tuition fee for the next semester. The college is giving a discount of 10% on the early payment of your tuition fee. Since it's a great offer, you decided to make an early payment. Now, can you find out how much money you have to pay? I'll initialize a variable called initial fee and I'll put the value of 4535 into it. Then let me save the discount percent in a variable called discount percent. And that's obviously 10%. Now I can say const discount amount equals discount percent divide by 100 times the initial fee. Now the total fee will obviously be or the fee that you pay after the discount will be the initial fee minus the discount amount. Oops, it should be amount. And now I can say console.log. Let me use the string interpolation. So I'll say fee after discount is dollar braces total fee and now when I press run you can see that the fee after discount is $4,081.50. Let's see one more example. Suppose you go on a run every other day, exercising is obviously good for health and you cover a distance of about 5 kilometers a day. Now you want to convert that distance from kilometers to miles and see how much distance you've covered in miles. You could create a program like this. So here, I'll remove this old code first. I'll start by storing the 5 kilometer value in the variable km distance. So I can say const km distance equals 5. 
then we know that one kilometer is equal to 0.621371 miles. So I'll store this conversion ratio in the conversion ratio variable. I'll say const conversion ratio equals 0.621371. Now to calculate the distance in miles, we simply multiply the distance in kilometers with the conversion ratio and store the value in miles distance variable. So I can say const miles distance equals km distance asterisk conversion ratio. Now when I print the miles distance variable, I should get the distance in miles. So this time I'll use string concatenation. Uh, I can say console.log u covered covered then space plus miles distance plus miles. As you can see, when I press run, then the kilometers is converted to miles. Now to practice what we have learned. Here's a programming task for you. Create a program that converts degree Celsius to Fahrenheit. The formula to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit is Fahrenheit equals Celsius times 1.8 plus 32. What you can do is store the value of Celsius value in the Celsius variable, then use the formula Fahrenheit equals Celsius times 1.8 plus 32 to convert to Fahrenheit and display the result. You can find the code for this program in our GitHub repository. Also, if you want to revise the concept, you can find all the programs in our GitHub. I will put the link in the description. Now that we've reached the end of the video, it's time for the programming quiz. What is the output of the following code? Comment your answer below. Happy programming.